Today I want to take a look at how to convert MS Office files to PDF and then merge them to a single combined PDF using PowerShell. And here we're looking at PowerShell code that's leveraging a few .NET interop assemblies. And the interop assemblies are coming out of the GAC. We have one for each of the different Office clients. So we're going to have Word, Excel, Publisher, Visio. And then we have an array of all the file types that are supported. So when you think of MS Office, there's a lot of different file types that are possible. And so file extensions are going to include things like DOCX for four letter, DOC for three letter, same with XLSX for Excel, PPTX for PowerPoint, VSDX for Visio. Publisher is the standout single extension PUB. So any of these extensions will be supported MS Office inputs. We want to convert them to PDF and then combine and merge all of those PDFs into one output with multiple pages. Looking at the PowerShell code, we have a couple references here. The first one is a function merge PDF leaning on the iText Sharp assembly for doing its uh, conversions. And I put a reference in here to where some of the code came from, made a few tweaks, adjustments to it, kind of streamlined, simplified it a bit. Uh, but it's using the iText Sharp PDF reader, and it merges all those pages together to make a single combined multi-page PDF. So that function handles the merging. A majority of the code is actually going to be the invoking of the MS Office client. So here we're using the com objects to open up the MS Office client on the desktop. Now that's a dependency a lot of people don't like. But it's a dependency that gives you high quality, it gives you accuracy, and it supports all of the advanced features. So when you think about calculations in Excel, data connections, shading, icons and shapes with Visio, smart art with PowerPoint, the overlay and header footer with MS Word, you want a high quality conversion from the original format into PDF. The best way to do that is with the Office client. And today we're running this on a Windows 10 PC. You could run this on a server operating system, install MS Office, and do the same thing. But this does have a dependency on the Office client. The version we're running is uh, 365, uh, latest and greatest. So here's all the paths for the uh, GAC as to where it can get them from the global assembly cache. And as long as it loads those DLLs and it can invoke the COM objects, then you are ready to go. So without further ado, we're going to give this a test and I've loaded a number of sample files over here in the input folder. We've got Visio, Excel, Publisher, PowerPoint, Word. We've got CSV and XLSX with calculations and flat tabular data. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see what we get. So as the code is processing, I see little pop-up windows for Word, pop-up green window for Excel, pop-up a blue window for Publisher. As it's working through each file, it's invoking the MS Office client to do the conversion. It doesn't take that long. I mean, maybe two seconds per file or something as it kind of pops open and then immediately exits, opens and immediately exits. The main function of the PowerShell has two halves. The first half is to convert the single files. So what this is going to do is make everything into a PDF. And then the bottom half is going to merge all of those PDFs into one combined output. Over here on the left-hand tree, we can see our combined output, and we see all of the various single conversions over in the uh, input folder. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and see what we have for our output. Here we can see a very colorful employee of the month certificate. This is coming from MS Word. So you have things like background images, text overlay, graphics, various fonts. And this, you know, pretty advanced template renders beautifully, comes through exactly the way we'd expect. This is a publisher card. So here we have borders. You've got different margins for trimming. This could be printed on a 3x5 or a 4x6. And there's a lot of uh, graphics and borders and different layers to it. That came through, converted beautifully from Publisher. Uh, here we have another Word doc with a bunch of text placeholders that came through. 
background watermarks, icons, all came through and converted perfectly. We've got Visio. So here we have a timeline with milestones. We've got icons in the top right. That came through and converted just fine. PowerPoint, background image, and Excel. This one's important because this actually has calculation and various formula. So here we are having our charts. We've got um, advanced features like formulas and lookups that are you know, calculating live when the workbook was opened in order to print and you know, make sure that that comes through accurately. Here we have a table of data from Excel. We have icons from PowerPoint. We've got more data from Excel. Here we have smart art from PowerPoint. And this, you know, is an advanced feature that it's XML based bulleted list, but it needs the office client to render it. What's the colors, what's the spacing, all of those things. Uh, here we have more tabular data with background shading and the headers are marked differently. Plus we have a footer at the bottom with a URL and a, and a copyright year. This one, we've got uh, some geographic areas with a time series, more data, more templates, and that's our combined PDF. It looks fantastic. And that's exactly what we're looking to accomplish. Now over on the originals, one thing you can do is actually open each PDF individually and take a look at them. So if you wanted to test just the publisher PDF, and open that one file, that one page, and kind of confirm that it's rendering the way you'd expect. You can always debug and check one file at a time. So in this PowerShell code, again, we have two halves. The top half is converting the office formats to PDF. And that's gonna be the individual um, steps for each file. And then we have a second half that merges and combines them to one PDF output. And when all of this is said and done, you can take the combined PDF, deliver it to your customer, and they can view it on any device. Thanks for watching.